It's uh, 8 o'clock, <laughs> TNT time, waiting for you to come in and see me. Got a lot to share with you tonight, going to do a few minutes. And uh, I've got my producer, partner, soulmate, best friend forever, <laughs> Mary Cole. She's got her laptop next to me. She's waiting for me to come on so that I can see me as, uh, as I see you. Lindsay! You're in the house. You're joining me. Holly, you're here too. And um, and uh, we're all here. It looks like uh, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're getting there. So who else is here? Shannon! I, I, I want to thank you. I want to thank you, Shannon. I, I, hi to you, Shannon. Uh, Shannon helped me to prepare for tonight. She sent me some really cool stuff. And thank Chad for me too. Amanda, you're here. I got to give it up for all you guys. All you guys. You're, you're, you're going to join me to uh... <laughs> make a big boom boom. Time to go to work. Time to go to work. Brenda's in the house. Dave Hodges is in the house. <laughs> Susan's here. Barb's here. Days back, Dave says, what's up? What's up to you? Say hi to Kayla Ray, DH. She's a social media ninja. I love her just like I love you. Holly, you be here too. Oh, I'm, I'm up there. And uh, Joanne, good to see you. Holly's back. She's, uh, Holly, stop saying hi to Barb. You're supposed to be paying attention to me. Jennifer, good to see you. Give it up for all you guys. Right? You guys, are you here tonight to... Uh, Make big, uh, big boom boom. I know, it's funny. I'm trying to make some jokes. <laughs> Shannon, Emily is in the house too. Emily, good. Emily, I, I'm here and you're coloring anything that moves, baby. You, you're, you're like knocking it on the park. Emily's been on this plan and she's hitting the goal with the ticket. I'm going to brag on you a little bit tonight, Emily. Denny, good to see you too. Uh, Shelby and Holly and Barb, Killer Monk, Barbie, really? How much boom boom you making? Give us a hint. Denny's saying, "Woo woo!" I just got off, uh, got off the, the the pool. Oh, got out of the pool. She's she's drying up. Emily Heaven Schmidt, hey baby, you're gonna make some big boom boom tonight too. All right, enough enough of this. I, I'm gonna keep saying hi to you, but I got some stuff on my mind. This is, uh, what is this? This is Facebook Live. I think it's number 18. And it just keeps getting cooler and cooler and cooler. Those of you that were with us on Monday, I think it was the best yet. And so I want to do a real quick drive-by on that to catch you guys up. Uh, Mandy, good to see you too. Mickey D, good to see you, girl. And, um, uh, and, and then, I, then I've got a new idea that I want to introduce you to and clear some things up. So here we go. Let's go to work. Um, for starters... Lest we forget, I never want to forget that this time with each other, it's sacred. And I'm grateful for all the people that sponsor this. Thank you, Redkin. Thank you, uh, L'Oreal. Thank you, Matrix. Thank you, Salon Centric and, and State and RDA. And thank you, Summit. You continue to make this work cool. And the number one, job one, is now and shall ever be, is to help everybody that's on this page to make a lot of money. And we, we, every idea we give you is chalked with experience to help you to fill the book. Because you know your income, whether it's daily, weekly, monthly, uh, annually, take home, whatever you want to call it, is in proportion to how filled your book is. However, when you hang out with us, what makes this different is we're not just, it's not how filled your book is that was going to make your money, but it's what your book is filled with. So every idea, it's almost like we're, we're helping each other become more mindful. More what? More mindful of the appointment book. And here's why. And when I say appointment book, I'm, I'm really speaking as much about the planner as I is the book. We're going to start doing more work from the planner. And here's why. To the degree that we're mindful of our appointment book, we can control it. To the degree that we not, we're not, it's controlling us. So when we were together uh, on Monday, I think that the, the few conversations from that, what this all came down to was, and I'm going to give you a real quick recap. 
If you haven't watched that program, I want you to go back and watch it. You can pick up on it, uh, Summit Salon, um, uh, their YouTube page. It's uh, video number 17. I think we'll be loading it tonight. Or just, oh, just scroll down the over the top page. Um, Facebook page and watch it because that'll give you the kind of the, the 10 minute presentation. I'm going to give you like a one minute drive by. Okay. So we were giving you this concept that we were calling money milestones. And what we were trying to do is take the appointment book and all of the openings in the book. And we were calling those openings windows of time. So whether they're 30 minute openings or 30 minute windows, 45-minute uh, openings, 45-minute windows, 60-minute, uh, 90-minute, uh, just depending on how you how you time yourself when you do uh, your services. Because Shannon, you're teaching me that, and and, and so is uh, so is Lori Green from El Marie. I, I spent hours on the phone with you two, and we were getting very very rigorous. At any rate, we created this. Uh, Acronym, W-O-T for windows of time. So the idea is that we wanted to fill as many of your watts as we could. And so milestones was how many watts uh, of windows of time in any given week would you want to fill a certain way so that you know that you're working smarter, not harder, and that you are mindful of the book where you're managing your book, your money, your income, your time, rather than being managed by it, right? And so we said that the first goal or milestone was that you would fill up 10 windows of time a week and that the average value of that window of time is 100 bucks. And just from those 10 windows, if you were able to do that, you'd be in or around $1,000 in service. You'd do some retail in there. You'd do some gratuities. And then we went to... The, the, the next goal, if you would, or milestone, is to get 12 watts a week windows of time, and that the, the value of that window would go up, because you would either add something to it, and sometimes you would raise the price. And, and by the way, this is all paired up perfectly with the Summit level chart. So if you're a Summit salon, this is a no-brainer for you. This has all been done for you. We're just helping you get a keener sense of it so that when your coach comes in, you have more traction and the one-on-ones get more interesting. And, and, and all of a sudden you're finding new ways to use this to make big boom boom. And if you're a Summit Salon, it's been a while since you've had a coach, consider getting your coach back. And if you're back here and you're a salon owner, you're going, what the hell is a Summit Salon? Call in either Salon Centric or State RDA um, and get a scorecard so that you can find out what this is about because there's a whole bunch of people watching Facebook Live that are already on Summit. Cassie, good to see you too. Shelby, beautiful to see you. I'm lost. What's a what? Window of time, Shelby. You have to watch my, my, my FB Lives. We've got a lot of new people coming in. That's why you got to watch the previously recorded. All right, now, look. So then you get to the second window of time, uh, second milestone that to to sell 12 window of time, uh, 12 windows of time per week, and that window of time is $110. That should pop up your income to about $1,300 a week. Then the next goal or milestone, you're not going to get there week after week. Sometimes it takes six months, nine months, a year to get from one milestone to the next milestone. And then you've got the third milestone is go up two more windows. 14 windows of time. And you'll notice that it, as, you, as you're moving up in a level, you should find your time's worth more money when you go from level one, level two. So you're moving up on levels as you move up on the milestones. The milestones are all about selling services and products. So we're not going to concern ourselves with rebooks and referrals and all that stuff. That's a given. This just drives up your ticket, drives up your income. That's why it's so beautifully it's paired up. With the level system. Okay, now, I want to move right along. So, we, And we covered the fourth milestone then. would we'll see if you can get 16 windows of time a week at $130 a window. You do the arithmetic on that. Now, all of a sudden, don't look now, but you're doing damn near two grand a week in services. That's like, what is that, guys? Is that level four, four, eight? All of a sudden, you're in that country. And then 18 windows of time at $140 a window. That's 2500 bucks a week. That's $10,000 a month. What is that? 1500 dollars a month in just gratuities. And then we gave you the sixth milestone, and this was all last uh, on Monday in the last couple of programs. That was 20 windows of time at 150. That once you hit this, 
And it was a it was an analogy. So I don't want you to get too I don't want you to get analysis paralysis about this. What this was all about is for you to get more mindful, more what? More mindful of your windows of time in your book in any given day or week. Some of those windows are already filled with guests, but some of them, and especially if you're like a, a first, second level or third level, you've got empty windows of time. And we're going to show you how to fill those windows rather than uh, waiting for clients to come in. We're going to give you some best practices, more primarily social media, right, to fill them so that uh, you th they get filled faster. Social media is a brand new way. So this complements the, uh, the, the, the level system, if you will. So, so far, so good? All right, now I'm gonna, I wanna show you the next idea. How long we've been hanging out? We got, we've been together for 10 minutes. I got 10 more minutes with you, Kay Parker, of course, and Greg, good to see you. And Shannon, you keep saying hi to your people, Shannon! All right, now, here's what I wanna talk about, because this is where people, some people were getting a little bit, they needed more clarity, okay? Because we all have different booking styles on how we manage and carve out those windows of time. When you go, Michael, is that window of time that you're talking about that's worth $100, is that a 60-minute window? Is that a 90-minute window? Well, that would all depend on how new you are or how much of a ninja you are behind the chair, how quickly you can work without freaking your guests out or tanking the quality of your service. So I made a new picture for you tonight, right? I'm calling it the time and money window of time range or watt range. How many watts do you have? So, for example, this is like a continuum. It, it, and you'll see the dollar bill is small, but as you go out, the dollar bill gets big. So you can look at these as stages. So over here, this would be a typical, let's say you're a, you're a, a new talent on the floor, or level one, or you're just getting started if you're not in a summit salon or you're not on a level chart. You're just getting started. You're brand new and you're out of school and you're trying to get, you You have so much you have to get together. When you book, what you usually book, if you do a, let's just say it's a haircut. Oh, I've got it right here. If you're a level one, see if you can see this. You can. Oh, wow. Cool. Very cool. So I'm a level one, right? And I do a, 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 a 9 o'clock this morning. It's a shampoo. It's a single process color. And it's a woman's haircut. So I have one guest that's with me from 9 o'clock, scheduled for a single process color, woman's haircut. And based on the prices that I charge, I just made this up. <clears throat> it's a $75 ticket. So the question you have to ask yourself, so how much time do I allow myself? Typically, level one, from talking to Shannon and Chad and, and, and Lori Green from El Marie, and I talked to Randy Kunkel, and I, I just talked to a whole bunch of people because I wanted to find out. It's about two hours when you're first getting started. And it's straight time. Straight time means I'm not, I don't have anybody else in that window except that 9 o'clock. It's just me and this person, and it takes me two hours. So that window of time then, look closely, it's a two-hour window, it's straight time, which means there's nobody else in there except that guest that's getting the, the color service and the haircut, and listen closely, and I'm charging $75. So for somebody that's just beginning, that window of time is two hours, it's worth $75, and if I had three of those, three of those windows of time, three two-hour windows of time a day, what is that? Six hours, and I could do that. I'd have, I'd have um, two hundred and twenty-five dollars a day just for those three windows. Anything else under that is uh, icing on the cake. So that might be my my vision, my intention, correct? But look at how it changes because sooner or later. And later comes sooner and you think, you start getting better. You start growing out. You could, you could call this new talent, level one, level two, level three, four, four, eight, four, double eight. Or if you're not into the whole level thing, this is you're new, you're intermediate, you started taking some training. Maybe you're enrolled in uh, color certification readiness training. You're getting your timing down. And all of a sudden now, you start moving over here. You start moving into Kung Fu uh, ninja range and all that. And I see this all the time. Shannon, I just talked to you about this. Who was it? Was that you, uh, Emily, that, that can do a 90 minute in 90 minutes? 
And I have actually got the example right here so that you can see it. In 90 minutes now, and it's not even 90, what is it? Yes, it is. It's, uh, yeah, 90 minutes. It's the same shampoo cut, right? And it's uh, a shampoo, uh, it's, got, it's a woman's haircut, single process color, but because I'm charging higher prices because I'm at a higher level and I, I'm double booking. I'm double booking. So now this, this window of time isn't two hours anymore. This window of time is 90 minutes and it's worth $175. So if I have $175 for that window of time and it's 90 minutes and I can do three, just even three, 90 minute double book Windows of time that are worth 175 bucks. Now, you, some of us, we, th this is where we start using associates, yes? And all of a sudden now, I have three per day over here. My day is $525. When I have it over here, it's $225. So you can see that as you get better, as you get certified, as you get better and better at hair and color, and you get your timing, you, you're able to... Uh, uh, open your book up. That's a chadism. You open your book up, you double book, uh, and you can, you can shave off 15 minute windows and I can get the same stuff done without freaking out my guests or without uh, tanking the color. And all of a sudden now, these windows of time matter. Now, last part of this whole thing is now you can look at your planner. So if I'm a ninja, and I'm looking at my planner for today and I'm feeling, okay, I got one, two, I got three, four, 90 minute windows of time that are already booked. And some of them are worth 175. Sometimes I'm doing a balayage, I'm doing an ombre, I'm doing something more specialized inside of my window, so it's worth more money. But something always happens where I have a last minute cancellation. Look, my six o'clock window canceled. It's now open. Or maybe I didn't have a window that filled. Maybe I'm, 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 you know, like this week is really busy, but now that we're going to get into the fourth in the middle of the summer, I start seeing empty windows. I can now use my planner to go over here and go, okay, so what am I going to do with my empty windows? Well, I put social media on my plan. I'm going to start posting on social media to see if I can fill these two windows and then look, look closely. I've got R here, R here, R here. What's that mean? Retail. This is where you sell retail. If I got a $175 uh, 90 minute window booked with a client, they're already, they have service. I'm going to have conversations with this client all day long. I'm going to teach them how to take care of their look and their hair by talking to them about product. You see how that works? And we never had social media before. Now this works even better if I'm newer because if I'm newer, I'm going to have more windows of time open. So this is like a typical level one. So look, level one, I've got, I've got, a, I've got a window of time. I've got a 75-minute window of time that's already booked at 9. I've got another 3 o'clock window of time that's booked. It's 75. But I've got one, two. I've got, I got three windows of time that aren't booked. So I can put over here. I'm going to, see, I'm going to start playing with social media in my planner to see if I can post something that raises the probability that I can get these windows filled. Because when you post, depending on how you post, you're either going to get a referral to fill in the window, or you're going to get a, a repeat guest that isn't pre-rebooked with you, that liked your page. Now notice I said liked. I did not say friend. You want to start using your business page. Use the salon's business page. You, and if, it, if the salon doesn't have one or your, your, your uh, one chair up, use, you have a business page. Get all of your clients to like the business page. Here's why. Look very closely. Anytime you have a client, one client, this is my drawing, one client liked your business page. Listen up. You have 250 of their friends that are not your clients yet. If you know what you're doing and posting, you can get your post to get to not only more of your clients, but more of their friends. 
This is why you see the Emily Hortons. You see the uh, Risa Montanas. You see the Kayla Ray Dickersons. These are the ninjas that are filling their book because they've got a business page. They have all of their clients have liked their page. They're posting their favorite pictures. And they're also inside of the post. They're listing their openings. Their, their watts of time, and they'll go something like, if I'm, if I'm an Emily, I go, I just had a 12 o'clock cancellation for today, down for haircut and color. Uh, call me now. And all of a sudden, they're getting booked. Or, this is what I would call my, actually, my wife gave me this, my, my business partner, Mary, she said, the daily uh, window worksheet. Now, that's kind of like the nickname for the planner, it's the daily window worksheet to see if I got a fill. And then if you if you want to, usually in a level one or two, you got more downtime, you can look at all of the days in your week where this becomes your weekly window worksheet. And now with your downtime, you start using uh, social media best practices to fill up the windows. See, this is, and this is why now you can take somebody in level one and in their first year, they have a $40,000 year. And I'm talking about W-2 and gratuities. And Emily, uh, um, 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 Emily Horton from El Marie, she had a $40,000 first year. Her second year was $60,000. This is her third year. She'll probably do $70,000. How's she doing that? By doing what I'm telling you to do. So you can do this. So the takeaway for this evening is that you would begin to use your planner. Look at your day different. Change how you see and you change how you be. Change how you're looking at your day. Use your planner to begin filling your windows of time with social media. And it goes way beyond planning what you're going to uh, present to your client in real time. It's how do I fill my windows. Okay, let me, I'm going to look at the time. Oh my God, it's 22 after. I gave you enough stuff. Let me see. Chris, Naom, you're in the house. Good to see you. Heidi Seymour, good to see you. Dory Malone, F, look at, Dory Malone says FB has made my business explode. Seriously. <laughs> Jennifer Pierce, Good to see you. I'm going to end the way I always end it. I always love you guys. I want you to take action on this. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, debrief this with Mary and a couple of other people because I love Facebook Live. It's sacred, 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 sacred. I know you're digging it big time. I'll keep this on my OTT page. Make sure that other people share this with other people. They have to hear this because this is what's growing us. It's like the, the newest nitroglycerin that we're putting on level charts. And if you're not on a level chart, you don't need a level chart to make this work. It's just that if you're on a level system, your summit system, you're, you got a home court advantage. So where am I? Um, um, I want to, uh, I want to go to my page and I want to end with my favorite duder. There he is. And so from me to you, here it comes. Um... <laughs> Good to see you. I love you guys. Have a great 4th of July. Hope you make a lot of money. See you soon. Peter Cole's in the house. Good to see you. Jennifer B., good to see you too. Uh, talk to you soon. Thanks, Shannon. Love you too, girl. Bye.